As the debate continues whether to demolish or save Youngstown's realty building, plans are in the works to redevelop another one of downtown's historic high-rises right across the street. With what's being planned, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. How are the bones of this building? Absolutely incredible. They don't build them like they used to, as they say. <laughs> Canfield architect Anissa Nieder walked me around downtown Youngstown's Mahoning National Bank building, the oldest section of which was built in 1910. Nieder is working with a New York City-based development company to turn the 13-story building into 71 residential units with commercial development on the first four floors. I mean, it's an architect's dream, right? <laughs> you love working on these buildings. Nieder walked me around what was the lobby of the bank with its wood walls, antique chandeliers, and hand-painted signs leading people to the safe deposit vault. Earlier this week, the project received a $2 million historic tax credit from the state of Ohio to help with the $12.9 million cost of renovation. So the historic lobbies on almost all of the floors are lined with marble and uh, marble flooring and beautiful woodwork. So maintaining all of that um, as part of you know the requirements from the state. The Mahoning Bank building is located directly across from the Realty Tower which was also renovated into housing units before the explosion that heavily damaged it. At 71 units, the Mahoning Bank building will have three times the units of the Realty Tower. Nieder hopes to have its first tenants in a year. So we have everything from studio to two bedroom units, um, like a higher end unit. So, you know, sort of your young professionals probably living here, kind of living that urban lifestyle, empty nesters, um, sort of everyone in between. Huntington Bank, which for a while owned the building, is in the process of renovating parts of the ground floor for its downtown offices. As far as the building's owners and developers, Anissa Nieder is confident they have the best of intentions. They love Youngstown, they enjoy being here, enjoy buying property here. Um, they're committed to the downtown area and just making it a better place. In Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.